Having a business in the UAE, it's obviously important to follow the tax laws. And there are special tax laws that come under designated zones. Hey everyone, before we move ahead, please click on the subscribe button to stay updated on our weekly business and finance related content, which is incredibly useful for business owners, CEOs, CFOs, entrepreneurs, and those who aspire to be one. Now let's get back to the video. Hey everyone, we've discussed earlier different licensing options in the UAE, including mainland, free zone, offshore, and so on. But what's a designated zone? We'll in this video get into what a designated zone is and also get into what the list of designated zones are. Having a company in the UAE, it's important to follow the local laws, which also includes the tax laws. There are special tax laws that fall under designated zones. So it's important to know which areas are the designated zones in order to avoid future penalties. In designated zones, for certain transactions, mostly revolving around trade of goods, there is no need to charge VAT. These transactions will be out of scope of VAT. The specifics of such transactions we'll discuss on another video. A general way to look at it is that all designated zones are considered free zones. However, all free zones are not considered designated zones. So what makes certain free zones special to be considered as designated zones? The designated zone must be in a specific fenced geographic area. The designated zone must have security measures and customs control in place to monitor the entry and exit of individuals and the movement of goods from the designated zone. The designated zone must have internal procedures regarding the method of keeping, storing and processing of goods within the designated zone. The operator of the designated zone must comply with the procedures set out by the FTA. Now that we know why certain areas are considered special and treated as designated zones, let's get into the list of designated zones in the UAE as of today. In Abu Dhabi, we have Free Trade Zone of Khalifa Port, Abu Dhabi Airport Free Zone, Khalifa Industrial Zone, Alain International Airport Free Zone, Al Butain International Airport Free Zone. In Dubai, we have Jablali Free Zone, Dubai Cars and Automotive Zone, Dubai Textile City, Free Zone Area in Al Quds, Free Zone Area in Al Ghazes, Dubai Aviation City, Dubai Airport Free Zone, and International Humanitarian City. In Sharjah, we have Hamriya Free Zone and Sharjah Airport Free Zone. In Umal Quain, we have Umal Quain Free Trade Zone in Ahmad bin Rashid Port and Umal Quain Free Trade Zone in Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Road. In Rak, we have the Rak Free Trade Zone, Rak Maritime City Free Zone, and Rak Airport Free Zone. In Fujera, we have Fujera Free Zone and Fujera Oil and Industrial Zone. Hope this video gave you a better understanding of what designated zones are and which areas qualify as designated zones. Hey everyone, you've reached the end of this video. Thank you all for listening. If you like this content, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you'd like for us to talk about any specific topics, please do let us know in the comments below. Hope to see you in the next video.